So I have found a micro cap crypto which is currently at a 40k market cap and it's currently in its pre-sale which I think has some potential to 10x maybe even 100x in the coming years. This project is also the brainchild of people that made Homey Wars. I covered the pre-sale on that and since its launch price after the pre-sale it 5x'd as of the time of this video three months after its launch. It's the same team behind that and I've worked with these guys before and I like them. The project is called Coin Racer Reloaded. So this is a play to earn project which I think definitely has some potential and this is essentially a racing game that is monetized with the play to earn model that you typically see in these projects. There's quite a lot of interesting things about this and some very interesting ideas and concepts within this. When I first looked at this website I thought wow this actually looks pretty damn decent for the tiny size that it is. It's got a kind of like a similar art style to Cluster Truck. I don't know if any of you guys played that back in the Xbox 360 days, but it's like a multiplayer racing game where you wager tokens and you can use tokens to unlock things. That's good, right? Because, you know, there's so many projects where they have tokens associated with it and it's never really clear what the token actually does. I like projects where you have a token and it's very clear what that token is intended to be used for. You know, you want to have a crypto which actually has a use case and isn't just a, a picture of a dog. That could fly in like 2021 when there was just an insane amount of money sloshing around, but in this bear market, like I'm putting my money into projects that actually have a token with a potential use case. They have Ccash, which is the in-game currency, which can be obtained through the C-Racer token, which is the token that they are selling. You can wager these tokens, you can change the aesthetics and looks of your car, and you can even get in-game benefits and consumables, which is kind of wild. And yeah, the more I look into this, I'm just like, oh yeah. I actually got given some tokens by the developers, so for full disclosure, that is the relationship I have with this project. So I'm gonna very quickly show you what this game is about because it's no good me just talking about what this supposed game is without actually showing what they have made already. What is good enough is that they actually have a functioning game made. I'm actually surprised that the game looks this good running in a browser because, you know, yeah, it's even got like the drift mechanics. Yeah, I'm surprised that they, they're able to get this level of fidelity into a browser. If any of you guys played RuneScape back in the day, I mean, it's a far cry from that. This is just a practice course, but you know, there's actually going to be races with other players that you can win tokens with. There is a white paper which goes into quite a lot of detail about what this team plans and how they are going to integrate the tokenomics and you know, what their a vision for the future of this is. They also explain some of the reasons why they relaunched this project, which, you know, way back in 2021, these guys were promoting the version one of this game. This was back in 2021 and like they got sponsorships with literal car drivers and quite a lot of decent partnerships. A professional racer in a coin racer jacket. Looking at the old token has like an insane chart. Like it went from like 0 0.35 to 0.54 in like a month. It's basically like a 20x plus. But those were different market conditions. That, that was in 2021. We're currently in a bear market where there's not that much money sloshing around like it was in the good old days like here. These guys obviously wanted to iron out some of the issues that they had with version 1. One of the main issues, and like I've spoken about this before with my project, Boss Token. If you have a BSC project, if you have like a 0% tax, as in like 0% transaction tax, you essentially have like no liquidity pool. So anyone at any given time can basically like crash the price. Part of the reason why Boss Token specifically had 5% to the liquidity pool per transaction and also deflationary tokenomics. You can see like these guys had some insane momentum and then like a few whales sold because there's like a 0% transaction tax, it unfortunately couldn't like recover, right? There's quite a bit in the works upcoming. Like they're gonna be listing on CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap. They also have biggest buy competitions, which is pretty cool. The pre-sale top five contributors will get 10% of a bonus 
of their C Racer tokens. Yeah, if you're a top contributor, you can get some extra tokens. In addition to some other benefits, like if you get one BNB, you get like an NFT mint, you unlock various perks and features. If you want to get involved in this pre-sale, like there's only yeah, there's basically like a day left. The initial market cap is only $44,000. Like, think about how much garbage gets to like insane market caps. And this is starting out at 44k. That's a very low market cap. And on the small chance that this goes absolutely ballistic, you could be looking at another Shiba Inu. I was like the first YouTuber pretty much to call Shiba Inu back in the day. Getting involved in this at 44k, it's it's a roll of the dice. Like you absolutely could lose money. There's quite a bit of upside. And last project from these guys saw a 5x plus since its launch after the pre-sale. There is quite a bit of upside and you know, I do have some trust in this team. And yeah, so if you wanna get involved, there's an affiliate link on the pink sale down below in the description and pinned comment. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and sub for more videos like this.